Hey everybody. It's Ben. You just noticed jumping up and down Geary. But we've had this starting soon screen for 15 months. And you just noticed Geary's jumping up and down? What? God damn. I got to do these cameos. Hi, I'm Ben. <clears throat> Karen may or may not be joining us. She's at a homeowners association meeting to get permission to get a couple trees down that are need to be taken down. You got to get permission to spend thousands of dollars. She should be home any minute, I think, unless those go for hours. Um, but I don't know if she wants to stream or not. Anyway, uh, I didn't play people yesterday uh, because um, I was uh, looking at Tata Steel games from around seven and eight. And those videos are on YouTube now. Um, everything that we do, I do it for you. Every, everything we do um, on the stream here goes on our YouTube page. And often there's more than one video made from the video. There's always the full stream that's two or three hours. And then there's little videos of individual games if you just want to watch a game and not you know, watch a 10-minute video instead of a two-hour video. And we have about 2,300 videos on our YouTube page. So you can go there and do that. Uh, I'm going to play 5-Minute Unrated today, um, which I normally do on Sunday. But I didn't do that Sunday. So it's sub-Monday. Um, so ch spell challenge right? If I spell challenge right, probably. And there's, a, there's probably four or five 12-hour streams also. I haven't done a 12-hour stream in over a year, but I've done 12-hour streams. But uh, it seems sort of pointless. It just seems like you're doing a 12-hour stream, so you can see I did a 12-hour stream. Um, I've been working on my chessable course every day. Um, that'll take about five months, I guess, I'm guessing. So probably in June... You can buy it, but okay, obviously as it's getting closer, I'll let you know as it progresses. I won't be streaming Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday because I'll be in Michigan visiting my family and friends, mainly family. My, my mother and brother and daughter all live within 30 miles of each other and uh, so forth. I mean, why? you know I'm going to be streaming. I stream every day, and I haven't streamed yet. So it's funny. We had a, a sponsored lecture today at 6 p.m., and the sponsor showed up for the lecture at 7 p.m. as I, like, logged off. So I either he thought it was at 7, possible, or he's in central time zone and didn't know that it was 6 Eastern. Those are the two possibilities. Or he didn't want to watch an hour lecture. He wanted to watch a 10-second lecture also possible. And so forth. Okay, well, Tani wants to play Rated, and I'm not doing that today, so. Sorry, Tani. Only good tasting tuna get to be starfish. Make sure you're a sub if you're challenging me. It's sub Monday. And uh, so forth. Let's see. What's a move I've never played before? Let's play that. I've probably played this, but I don't remember playing it. So we'll do that. Yay, Castling is for beta subscribed. Hooray. Let's see, probably. E5 is a good move. Well, it's it's a legal move. That's what I meant. Good move. That's taking it too far. I have coffee with my, my picture on it. And I also have my Perrier. So I'm ready to stream. Thanks, Devil Evil 87 
What group am I thinking of that my daughter likes when, when, when the person's handle is devil evil? What, what am I thinking of here? It's, it's that one guy, Sissiega or Sissierga, Neil Sissierga. What, what's the name of his group? Devil, Evil, Dixie Chicks. God damn your band. Lemon Demon. Thank you. Yeah, Lemon Demon. Devil, Evil reminds me of, of Lemon Demon. Not sure why. It, it just does. Would you do a Fansly account? I don't know what that is. So maybe. Only if it's pornographic. If it's like a normal thing, then no. Now that I'm losing weight, I can get into the porn industry. Or I could be even crazier than I am now and gain more weight and grow crazier beard and then I could be Ron Jeremy. Yay, go Ben. Ron Jeremy was found too crazy to stand trial. I'm not even kidding. You can't make that stuff up. Everybody who goes on the Chappelle show ends up crazy or in jail or banned. Vegan Ron Jeremy. How can you have coffee so late at night? It's it's only eight o'clock, but I could have coffee anytime. Still theory, which is unusual. This line's not played very often. Yeah. I'm confused. Who, who, whose turn is it? The funny thing is, material's equal. Didn't see that one. Didn't expect that one. My two favorite words. Oh no, his queen. The hype train is close. Go hype train. Today, Enrique Mecking turned 71. I didn't know that. Does Dames Altucher live in Atlanta? I'd pay to see another collab. He lives in Metro Atlanta, which I also do. So like, sort of, yes. Court Monson subscribed. Whenever I see Court Monson, I think of Kurt Hansen, the Danish Grandmaster, not as famous as Lars Bohansen, but about the same strength. But he's 20 years before Lars Bohansen. Well, 10 years before. Kurt Hansen. I hated to be curt with him, but time was a factor. Thanks, Salt Tire 77. He didn't play Ricky one pinning my queen and my king? Okay. That might have been better than letting me keep my queen. I guess they're both winning for me, so technically it's not better, but still. Queen A3 mate, Queen A3 mate, Queen A3 mate. Queen A3 mate, Queen A3 mate. Ah, he didn't play King C2. 
king f2, king b3, queen b2, king a4, b5, king a5, queen a3 mate. That's no fun. I was really rooting for it too. Safety first. I got two threats, one for each of you. I probably played well except like in the early opening. Yeah, I played three mistakes like in the first 10 moves. After that, I played well. First 10 moves, I made at least three mistakes. Hallelujah, it's rain and Ben. I played 84.6. Yeah, I made mistakes on move four, six, and seven. Otherwise, I played great. In fact, queen e7 got double x clam in this position. That's brilliant, just like Einstein. And what's funny is I do have Verizon, so I'm even older than Einstein. We can't have Motorboat Monday right now because Karen's not here. Otherwise, that's a good plan. I like alliterative. Don't forget, you have to be a sub to challenge me. Don't get away with no trickery and deceit. Let's see. Vu, Vu, Vu Enjix subscribed. Thank you. In, in either Einstein's book, Lasker wrote the foreword, or in Lasker's book, Einstein wrote the foreword. I'm not sure which is which. <laughs> they were friends. Einstein and Lasker were like that, son. It's not a problem because if you're not a sub and you challenge me, I don't know. So you could be tricking me. So it doesn't matter what your handle is or your username or any of that. But you, you should be a sub. If you're not a sub, instead of tricking me, then ask in the chat for a sub and somebody will give you a sub. Although tricking me is also good. Always sack the exchange. I'm not sure why. It's, it's just a rule. Did you see Adiban, the, which I went over yesterday, the game that he won yesterday? He always sacked the exchange with rook f3. Hey, he didn't take my exchange. Well, now I'm going to sack a rook because he didn't take the exchange. He might not take that. That was my reasoning. He did take it, so I got a check. So that's pretty good. I sacked the exchange for check. Oh my god, two checks. What else? I mean, two checks is worth about a rook. So that's pretty good. Three checks. Are we playing three check? No, he played the only legal move. Darn. Uh, Tim is sure subscribe. Thank you. Let's see. Check. I don't have any, like, you know, good tricks. No? Okay, so I'll go here. That threatens meat and one. And meat and one's hard to stop. I mean, you could stop it, just not easy. Yeah, two rooks seemed like a lot. One rook seems like it's enough. Get rid of Tani's challenge. He's probably not even a sub. 
Let's see. Um, uh, bishop, uh, rook, d7. All right, so probably this is the right move because this is probably a blunder, and that's probably what it'll do. And then if he plays king c, I can repeat. Darn, always repeat. Well, let's see. Uh, huh. I, I don't want to make a dumb move. Darn. All right, I guess I'll go here. Two bishops of false. I have two pawns for a rook, so I have two things, and he has one, so I'm ahead one. Never play f6. Hmm. It's to stop the game, it's too exciting. 10 minute unrated, god damn. Always retreat. Thanks, Bobo Shoddy. I wonder if Shoddy's in the club. Long time no sub. That's true. Is that a one month streak? You missed a fork, X clam one, X clam, X clam one plus X clam. I did not miss a fork. I saw the fork, but it wasn't a good move. So bishop takes is good and knight d4 is good. I guess knight d4. The move you suggested is shallow and pedantic. Bishop b is mate if he does that. If he doesn't do it, then it's not. But he might do it, so let's let's try. He might hang mate in one, then I win. So, you know. Whoa, that move I did not see. Not see good. That move looks like it might not be the best move. Although it might be. Okay, A4 is the theoretical move. Always play the theoretical move. My rook was hanging? Wow, how long was my rook hanging? Check, check. Oh, okay, so I was checking him. That's why I didn't notice my rook was attacked. Okay, that's unfortunate. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I sacked one rook and I blundered the other rook. I guess you should move your king up in the end game. That makes sense, right? Try to get some kind of distant opposition. Probably like half of the chat thinks I saw Knight takes Rook and I'm like joking around. Th keep thinking that. Yeah, I sacrificed that Rook. Yeah, I, I saw everything. You know your position's good when you hang a rook for nothing and it's fine. I just I didn't see knight takes rook. I was very confused when my rook got captured. I was like, what where'd my rook go? <laughs> but I think I'm winning when he takes it.
It says I made five blunders and no mistakes. I just made blunders. Court Monson gifted two subs. It says I've been reported to chess.com for imitating a grandmaster. I played 60 and he played 52. Every move is double question mark. Okay, so, so this is the end of the game. Double question mark. Double question mark. Exclam. A great move. Best. Double question mark. Exclam a great move. Double question mark. Double question mark. A great move. Forced. Question mark. Inaccurate. Double question mark. That's best. I thought after king d2 I was winning. I really did. And then rook d8 double question mark. Well, I saw he could play bishop takes e4, so his king has d5. Then I thought I would play bishop takes e4 with unstoppable b3 mate. The engine says I'm losing here. How does he stop b3 mate? I'm I, I'm seriously confused. Oh, knight c5 defending b3. I didn't see that. Wow. I thought I was winning here. I didn't see knight c5 defends b3. That is a blunder best knight c5 is best then he's plus 8.5 huh well i'm a good player remember when you play and the cap score says 60 make sure your opponent's cap score is less Man, that game had lots and lots and lots and lots of blunders. I mean, like a lot. Like even for me. It was too exciting. You follow tennis, Ben? I do. I follow tennis almost all my life. I know a lot about 80s and 90s tennis also, not just t tennis now. I might not I might know more about 80s and 90s tennis maybe Which player do I like now? Um, I always like the two French guys, uh, Sanga and uh, the guy who's not Sanga, um, Monfils. I don't know why I like the French guys. They never win, but I like them. It's funny, this guy's 1296 and he plays exactly the line that I play against the Budapest. Like I could be I could have white in this game. In a slow game, this is how I play. Becker good? Yeah, Becker was fun to watch. He fell down a lot at the net, that was funny. He was not see bad. Becker just finished jail sentence in London. Or I don't know if it was in London. It was in England. 
I think it was in London. He was in jail for, I don't know, eight months. And he just got out and went back to Germany. I think it was some kind of tax thing. He's also a chess player Becker. Occasionally, he would go to top-level chess tournaments. Um, you know, and like make this ceremonial first move or whatever. Let's see, can I play knight c3? I guess I can. And then I take the queen, then I take the knight. I, I, guess, I guess I can. It seems bad for me. But that doesn't lose material. Yeah, Lendl doesn't have an A in it. It's L-E-N-D-L. Lendl was my favorite when I was watching tennis then. He was my favorite player. There, there was a rumor that he played chess, but he denied it. So I don't know if he actually played chess or he was embarrassed that he did. But he denied that he played chess, even though everybody said he did. I did see what Agassi said about returning Becker's serve. I did see that. Korshnoi's glasses gifted two subs. I'm not sure which English guy you're talking about. Did John McEnroe play chess? Okay, it's J-O-H-N. Um, no. However, he was on uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Playing himself. Two knights versus two bishops. What else? Time for Rook C1, wondering the exchange, but saving his pawn. Also sacking the exchange. Don't forget to sub and so forth. Magnus is a chess player of all time. No, Magnus has only played chess during his lifetime. He's not a chess player of all time because he, he didn't play like before he was born. Like 99.9999999% of human history was before Magnus existed. So definitely not a player of all time, but a little bit. Two nights, what else? Did Peter Falk play, Falk play chess with Yasser? I don't believe so. Um, Peter Falk was on the cover of Chess Life with Yasser at the 83 U.S. Open in, um, in uh, um, well, I can't remember the name of the city. It's a suburb of Los Angeles. God, what's wrong with me? Pasadena, Jesus Christ. Pasadena, California. And I played at that U.S. Open and I saw Peter Falk there watching. I'm sure I couldn't remember the name of Pasadena. That's very strange. I was only there for two weeks. That is the last time I was there. It was in 1983, but still. This guy's at least 1297 strength. At least. Time for Rook takes d6, getting his material back. Darn. That's a cool move. He's going to go here, and then I made him. I'm the best. Then he's back to 1295.
Time for Perrier. Very aggressive. It's good for equality. Yeah, that guy played best 1296 player ever. I mean, zero mistakes and zero blunders. I don't believe that. I made at least five bad moves that game. At least. I played 87.6. It says I made four blunders and four mistakes. That's better. And he played 79.1. He made three great moves, and I made four great moves. 33 best moves for me, 23 for him. He had three missed wins, three blunders, two mistakes, seven inaccuracies. He played a lot of great moves. Great job completing this game review. You need help with everything. Why, thank you. I do need help with everything. It's true, it's true. I learned that line from you, LOL. That is my line. Yeah, I've already played this guy, now I'm playing him again. Now I have to find another move I haven't played before. I never played this. That's a pretty good move. I was going to play queen h4, 
but I guess it's illegal to jump over your pawn. That was my plan. I thought his knight would be away from h4, so then I could do that. Well, I, I guess I won't do that. King F2 winning would be better than King H1 not winning. I don't know, maybe it's not. What do I know? I don't think I'll be looking at the review of this game for my mental health. <clears throat> I, I, I didn't play well. My two favorite words, check and mate. Hey, he stopped mate in one. What? How, how could he? Well, you guys have rights, especially the people who subbed. And due to your rights, I'm going to play this move. Just because you have rights. Two bishops, what else? No, I did not play well. But we have a, a pretty finish. The gawking rabble has rights. So <clears throat> at the aforementioned US Open in Pasadena in 1983, because somebody mentioned Peter Falk, uh, there was a tie for first between Korshnoi and Christensen. And they, have a, they used to have a closing ceremony at the US Open. So they have they have a, a prize award giving you, know, you you win and so forth. So the players actually like gave a speech after they received their prize, and Korshnoi said, "You know, it was sort of like the gawking rabble has rights." He said, "You know, the spectators and they want to see the games, and they're not allowed into the roped area." And the spectators have rights. They want to watch the chess. It was a very strange. Korshnoi was a strange guy. He was advocating that you should let the spectators in there and let them watch the chess. You know, like close to the players. Okay. Anyway, then Christensen, his turn to give a speech. He tied for first with Korshnoi. And he said, I'd like to thank all my opponents. Etc. I always say that I like to thank all my opponents because I, I was 13. I was very impressionable then. <clears throat> okay, back to whatever it is I was doing. Also a Simpsons reference. Well, the, the exact quote is, back to whatever it is, back to do whatever it is I do. And then he left. 
which was very apt. It's the spelling bee episode where Lisa's told to throw the spelling bee. Then when she spells the word wrong by accident, the, the judge who wanted her to throw the bee says, you fool. That's a funny thing to say to a kid who just spelled a word wrong in a spelling bee. <laughs> you fool. Yeah, good line. <clears throat> Fen Beingel, 200 bits. I met Korshnoi in 93 in Vegas at the National Open. Bronstein and Golko were there. A crazy tournament. Sounds crazy. Knight F3 proving his rating and proving he's not using an engine. So that's good. This may surprise people in the chat who have heard of David Bronstein, which is only like a third of you. But I, I beat David Bronstein. <clears throat> I've also lost to him. And it's possible I've drawn him also. I just remember winning and losing. I don't remember drawing him, but I might have drawn him once. I always forget that I beat Bronstein because, you know, he was elderly when I beat him. He was better than me, but it was close. I was an FM. But it was, you know, he was, he was 100 points better than me, I guess, when, he, when I beat him. Thanks, Fen Beingold. Brown has an E at the end. And he was alive. So was Gadakomsky, also alive. Yeah. It's not Janitor Willie. His name is Groundskeeper Willie. That's actually his name, Groundskeeper Willie. He is a groundskeeper, but he's Groundskeeper Willie is his actual name. Just like comic book guy. Well, it's not right to sack my bishop, but, you know, I'm, I'm up a piece and I'm going to sack my bishop. So. It's Hausmeister Willy. Wow. The crowd has rights. Always repeat. Now if I play bishop h2, it's a draw, so I got to watch it. Drawing 500 is not my specialty. Losing, maybe, but not drawing. Always repeat. Fen Beingold gifted a sub. Thank you, Fen Beingold. Let's see. I've played Queen C2. I've played A4. Uh, all right, we'll play Queen C2. That's Epishin's move, or Epishin. I played it against Salvius Bursis in the 2005 or 2006 U.S. Championship in San Diego. It was a 153-move draw. 
the longest game I've ever played in a U.S. championship. Still theory. This is the King's Indian. Go sub Monday. I underpromoted my night on E8. I've had the same weight for three days. 246.6. I don't really have a goal weight, just, you know, eat better, gym. But I mean, I would be happy to be 189 because since I've been 21 years old, uh, my lowest weight's 190. So my lowest weight is an adult. Let's see, knife, knife F5, all right, I'll, I'll take. Everybody has the two bishops, but I have the what else? I have the two rooks. Yay, Danny Rhodes subscribed. Go, Danny. Oh, I'd see you in Vegas. 
I'll be at the National Open, and then Karen and I are going to be in Vegas for 11 days for the World Series, uh, June 25th to July 6th. You feel you might be in Vegas for the World Series. It's possible. Also, Karen might play in Chicago, and if she plays, I might go with her, and you might be there. So, it's a, lot, a lot of mites, a lot of possibilities there. She might play, I might go, if she plays, etc. Might makes right, so forth. Zero mistake, zero. I might have played well that game. I might have played it like 91, 92. It's possible. I played sort of reasonable that game. I wasn't playing like my usual insane self. Yeah, I played 90.4 and he played 84.4. 10 book moves. That's the most book moves I've ever played in a Blitz game. Yay, it's Karen. Yeah, I, it, what's funny is I gave an Endgame lecture tonight on Zoom that was a sponsored lecture. And the game that I played, Robert Fisher, which is the same Robert Fisher from 86, and I referenced that game. I played him last year, and I, I, I beat him in two drawn Endgames. One was in 86, and one was 2022. 2022 was really drawn. The 86 one, like, I was slightly better. Go, Karen. Let's see how the Hawks are doing against the Bulls. Bulls are up nine at halftime. Capella, 10 points and 11 rebounds at halftime. Man, Trey Young, four points? God damn. No wonder we're losing by nine. Frankly, terrible. It's only four points more than I have, and I'm not even playing.
Put it in H. Time for Knight GE2. I demand it based on his rating. Darn. think Pete Rose should be in the Hall of Fame? Yes. I don't care about his gambling on baseball games. It doesn't I don't care at all about it. The 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 person who banned Pete Rose, Bart Giamatti, is the actor Paul Giamatti's father. True story. I didn't take my night last time. What else? Make sure I don't mouse slip. G5 losing. Yeah, Paul, Paul Giamatti plays Einstein on those Verizon commercials. Proving he's the greatest actor in a generation. Those links are legit. They're too legit to quit. Click all links as many as fast as you can, as many as you can. Futurama. Thanks, Sven Beingold. I sat next to Pete Rose on a plane leaving Vegas in 2006. Nice. You have a lot of interesting stories, unlike me. I never sat next to nobody.
My position would be good if I had another piece on the board. I don't know a lot of Monty Python movies, even the ones I've seen. So I remember I like Life of Brian, but I don't know if I've seen the other movies, because if I did, it was 40 years ago. So uh, Life of Brian. I know there's the Holy Grail, and I don't know if I've seen that, but probably I have. But it's just been so many years, I can't remember. Still theory. I don't think this is the way Eric Rosen plays it. Go, Mel Brooks. Love Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks is also good. What did my opponent do? A5. Bishops, what else? And an extra rook. Oh, wait, he has the extra rook. Damn. I have the white squares.
Yay, 11 years subscribed. Komsky got a haircut. Yay, I'm the best. Two mistakes, one blunder. Draw by reputation. I never knew Henry Winkler was dyslexic. I thought he was too cool for that.
Game's too exciting. Henry Winkler was really good in Children's Hospital. An underrated show. C5, finally earning his rating. I'm getting crushed every game. And then somehow I sneak out at the end. Man, everybody rated like between 800 and 1300 like plays better than I do. <laughs> Man, the truth hurts. I remember when I could beat those people with regularity. You can call them people. Don't forget it's sub Saturday or Monday or whatever. Thanks, Magnus Withdrawson. Time to sub and give subs. Time for another train. I've never lost to a sub in seven years of streaming. Amazing. It's because my play is so accurate. Zero mistakes, etc. You always repeat. I've never faced that.
I miss Karen too. Where's Karen? Wow, he played it so fast. <laughs> I don't have an immediate win here. I guess this wins. I didn't see that, darn. Ugh. Maybe this is better. I don't know. Rook A3, uh, that's not a good move. Zero mistakes, zero blunders. That doesn't sound like me. Let's see how I actually played. I'm guessing bad.
I played 89.4, and he played 83.6. Although I made 37 best moves, and he made 25 best moves. Go, Ben. Man, up until here, it likes the way I played. Then it stops liking the way I played. <laughs> Thanks, Bisbee91. Thanks, Karen Chess, for gifting a sub. Thanks, Craft Single Square, for 100 bits. It's a train. Go, Modi. Yeah, I don't think Modi's a good prime minister. I think he's, uh, you know, a little on the evil side. I think he got along well with Trump. I mean, India is known for having a corrupt government. So I guess if you're the head of the corrupt government, then you're the most corrupt. Although most governments are known for being corrupt. But India takes pride. Modi has a terrific haircut? That's possible. Do you think James Canty can make GM at a later age like you did? He, he already is GM. He's GM Canty. What are you, what are you guys talking about? Go hype train. Karen started the hype train. Yay, Fen Bingold. This guy's earning his rating. He was doing well until he wasn't. Oh yeah, forgot about that. And Dre. As long as it's vegan milk and the nuts are like, you know, almond nut milk. Could you be yes or Sarawan? Spelling yes sir and Sarawan wrong. Oh wait, Sarawan spelled correctly. That was weird. Now you think three question marks. I can't beat anybody. So he's somebody, so no. Yay, craft single square, 100 bits. Could you be Levy Rouseman? Oh, good spelling. Um, yes. Fen Bingle, 200 bits. I have the pair of hooks. Could you be Magnus Carlson? Possibly. We. 
The ship takes F6 and fuck dolls. Do they have 50 plus only tournaments? Yes. Go Carlos Magnuson. I could only beat him in weightlifting. Go Hype Train. You can do it. 6%. That's a good start. Have you beaten Robert Fisher every time you've played him? Yes. Round nine is tomorrow. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar on tomorrow. I'll say tomorrow again. Never play F3, play F3. I love you tomorrow. <laughs> I've played Smyslov twice, once in a simul, which I drew, which I won, and once over the board, which I drew. Go Smyslov. And he was a guest at our at my first wedding. Levy got wrecked in Reddit. What? How do you get wrecked in Reddit? Don't forget the hype train, people. Some of you forgot. It's sub Monday, so you're required to buy several subs for some reason. Never play F6. Let's see how the Hawks are doing. Ooh, the Hawks are up one at the end of three. Well, there's a few seconds left. Let's see. DeJounte Murray. No, Young has 10 assists. That's good. Okay, what happened? Uh, young Maiden won, earning his rating. Before that, he wasn't really earning his rating. Do you think you will cover Nepo versus Ding? Yes. I don't know if I'll do live game analysis. I might, but I'll definitely do recap if I don't. Yeah, it's in uh, April, May. It's in Kazakhstan, the uh, World Championship. So I was thinking 
I would play rook takes pawn, king takes rook, bishop a6 check, winning his queen. I'm, I'm not sure how I'm winning his queen, but that's, that's what came to me. I guess if I play rook d1 now, and then I did that, it would work. I don't know, crazy like Fox News over here. I received a level one train. E oh, Karen received one. Yeah, that's okay. Turkey. Less than 2% of people in Kazakhstan know where Kazakhstan is. Yeah. Night trying to learn. Thanks for the subscription. Nice guy. Good. Trying to sleep, exactly. Yay, thanks, Chess Bra, for the raid. 669. Those are three of my favorite numbers. Go, Chess Bra. Go, shout out. Thanks for the raid. Hope the Chess Bras are having a good evening. Hi, chess bra people. I'm Ben. Karen's taking the night off. She had some stuff to do. I think she's still in the chat. I'm playing uh, subs five minute unrated, which I normally do Sunday, but yesterday I looked at the Tata Steel games instead. Man, my peace sacrifice was really bad. All he needed to do was play knight f5 immediately. And even then, what he played was fine. 
then he made a couple of mistakes at the end. Aman says hi. Go Aman. Yay, loaf subscribed. Hooray. Go loafs. Yeah, I'm not playing very well, but I guess I'm not supposed to play very well. How does this even work? Thanks for the sub. Yay, supporting the stream. Go supporting the stream. Yay, DT Greg subscribed. Go subs. You get a sub. You get a sub. Everybody subs. One bishop. What else? Another bishop? This king's not super safe. Gametron or Gametreon or whatever it is. Thanks for the sub. Always play bishop f1 mate instead of queen g2 mate. Go Strim. Agreed. Hope you guys are having a good new year and such. I'm not going to stream Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday because I'll be out of town. But I'm streaming tomorrow night and I'll be on Chess TV. I'm not sure what Karen and I will do. She usually goes to Music Bingo with Archer. And then she comes for the last half of the stream. Even more than half. Sometimes she goes to bed at the end, tired. It says auto abort in zero seconds. It said that for like a minute. That was still one of my tougher games. I had to wait a long time.
Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I have no idea how I played that game, but I'm guessing not very well. One mistake, one blunder. I played 86.7, I played 77.9. Actually, it says I made no mistakes and no blunders. Very suspicious. Yeah, it says he made a lot of mistakes. Yay, Fen Beingold. Thanks for the thousand bits. Good hype. Go hype. Thanks for the support.
one percent. No, darn. Not sure about h5 and bishop takes d4. Probably not best. Raider from Chess Bra. Cool. Go sub Monday. Two bishops and then extra queen. I don't know which is better, two bishops or an extra queen. They're both pretty good. I think this will be my last game. And then I'm streaming tomorrow um, from uh, 8.30 to 11 in the evening. And then I have a pretty early flight um, to Detroit on Wednesday. stay motivated yeah there's ups and downs in chess don't worry about your rating very much just play and have fun more fun to win i heard like a noise that it was a capture and i didn't know what he did and i'm like oh bishop a6 it's not a move i would think of so it was weird Never play F6, and I never did.
Hmm. I want to open up the center with his king there. Doesn't seem like his king's going to be there long. So maybe I'm just whistling Dixie. I mean, I do live in the south, so I should whistle Dixie occasionally. I have a lot of doubled pawns. So that's good. My pawn doesn't have any doubled pawns. Terrible. King doesn't seem very safe. Twenty four hundred viewers, what else? Out of nowhere. <clears throat> It's a nice game to end on. Oh, I have so many viewers. There we go. Losing all my viewers. That's better. <laughs> Let's see. I got a text from Karen. Raid Naraditsky. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys tomorrow.
and so forth. Thanks for supporting the stream. And uh, again, I'm not going to stream Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday because 